Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at the latest update from Film Impact. All right, if you've been watching my show for about the last six months, then you've seen the addition of using Film Impact effects, transitions, and more. It's just been great. Film Impact is used by professional editors around the world. Watch any broadcast television for any short amount of time, and you're going to see Film Impact everywhere. Well, they're not standing still. This is a big update. Got to remember, they have their own motion blur engine, 3D engine, GPA, uh, GPU accelerated, and HDR compatible. Everything you add is going to be gorgeous looking and is going to be wicked fast. So I'm going to start with all the new effects, and they have so much beautiful control. Let's have a look. First, I want to show you some motion effects that were added uh, since my last tutorial, starting with a realistic camera shake. So have a look at this clip here. This is a static clip, not moving at all, and not a lot of energy in this. Like Something's going on here, but it seems, you know, fairly simple and uh, not very dynamic. So here in the film impact motion is camera effects. I'll double click on that and add it. And now have a look. Beautiful, subtle camera movement. And if you want, you can turn that up. Turn it up. Turn up the roll. All in real time. And we can change this from still, slow, fast walk and earthquake. Let's look at slow walk here. There, there's a lot of movement. I mean, it, it's someone walking, but it's still pretty amazing. And this is a still view with as still as someone can have uh, holding a camera. All right, but now let's add walking. Here is a very smooth shot and we want to make this look like the camera operator was walking. Same thing, camera effects, and we'll use the slow walk. Okay, that is very realistic. And remember, we could dial that back if we want. What's important to notice here is in real camera shake, what you'll have is blurring when the camera moves quite a bit. Let's see if we can get it. Well, I'll turn it up to a fast walk. So that as the camera is moving up and down, it will be blurring. And that is so realistic. Now, along with camera shake is a wiggle effect. And this is going to blow your mind. This is a static ping. There are no, no layers. This is not um, a Photoshop file. It was an Illustrator file, but now it's a static flat ping. Watch this. This is the wiggle effect. This is the wiggle. I've already applied it. I'll turn this on and have a look at this. I have no idea how it does that. These are not layers. It's able to find all of those pieces and move them around independently. Amazing. Now, the last one is an effect that in After Effects, it's called tracking, where you take the distance between the letters and you expand them. It's a very dramatic effect. You can't do this in the properties. You can't do this with, with the um, effects controls in here. You cannot, although you can come in here and change the tracking, you can't animate this smoothly. It's an on-off kind of thing here. But we'll use the spacer effect. Check it out. Wow. Beautiful movements. And if we go to the effects controls, here they are. How it's easing in, easing out. And, and again, you could change this. 
can change it to a bounce, you can change to a pulse, and it's going to move in and out. It's amazing. No keyframes at all. Oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to show about this is, even with all of this movement, all I have to do is click on it and move it over here, and it still animates. Move it over here. I don't have to worry about any other keyframes, scale properties. That's amazing. That's the new film impact motion effects. All right, now let's get to the rest of the update. Light leaks effects. And here's a clip. It's applied. It looks great. It looks completely natural. And if I stop and we look at the controls over here, if I turn this off, that's what the clip looks like. This gives it much more life. And here you've got things like, what is the spectrum from a full spectrum to a duo spectrum to a single spectrum? And you've got lots of controls over that. You can also change the overall pattern, the speed on how it changes, the position. And this one is very important because here, if I go back and click on the light leaks, I can move this target to keep her face as unobstructed as possible. You can't do this with light leaks from anywhere else. The light leaks are just there and you have to mask out a spot if you don't like it. This is why Film Impact thinks ahead and they create controls for you to make something like that so simple. Here's the effect, but here's not the effect. And you, you could keyframe that if you want it. Um, you can also go down to the bottom and hit start fresh and surprise me. So if, you're, if you wanted to do this to three or four different clips, they're going to always be added as the default setting, but you could just click on the surprise me until you get something instead of tweaking all the controls. Fantastic. Next up, the lights above should look three-dimensional because they are using volumetric rays. If I turn them off, you can see there they are. And the volumetric rays, you can also change the light position. So if you're moving that around, which you could animate and change this, it could be subtle or it could be over the top. Here's another one that works with these background neon bars. And it even works with text. Oh man, I love this. And you usually pay a price for this in other applications that do volumetric lights because they're not GPU accelerated. This is because Film Impact has their own 3D engine so that they're, they're GPU accelerating that. Doesn't matter how far or how fast I move that. Doesn't matter, matter if I'm changing things like the, the ray length. So if we go back to this one, and I'm changing the ray length, you can see how quickly it works. Moving that around, change the color, colorize it if I want, change the vibrance, lots of controls. And again, I could hit surprise me and it could give me something interesting and new. The next one is really trippy. Check this out. That is Weird and crazy. This is echo glow effects. If we turn it off, that's the original clip and you can see it doesn't have that 3D kind of feel. But in this example, it seems to be moving in a third dimension and it has this very odd, very cool shape. Again, we can say surprise me and get a lot of different types of effects. It's completely controllable where the anchor point is, where it is in 3D, what's the intensity. Uh, you can change the, the overall range of this. You can make it uh, change the overall speed. Spin this around too. <laughs> Whoa, it's just wild. Here's another beautiful subtle effect. Not only is this a specific blur, this is compound blur. If I turn this off, that's the original. The compound blur is using a blur layer. And for that layer, I'm using this gradient that I have underneath. So if I hide this clip here, the gradient is going to stop the effect here and have the effect start where it's black because I have this particular effect 
inverted. You can also change the overall softness of this. So if you wanted more of a hard bouquet, you could do that. Uh, you can change the overall depth, the overall feather, chromatic aberration, and like I said, I'm inverting that so I could change the way that works. And you can change that to surprise me and got some really different results in there. So that is the compound blur effects. Something a little bit similar, but easier because you don't really require another um, uh, layer is just a simple focus blur. And again, just like the, the previous light leaks, you get to move where that is. And you could animate this if you wanted to. So I could put that on his face, put it on his neck, just to add that softness in there. All right, next up. What I love about this is how freaking real this camera blur is. When you look at this, it doesn't look like a typical fake Gaussian blur, which all of us can see a mile away. It's, not a, it's a fake blur. But when you look at this, it's got that feeling that a lens has when it's out of focus. You think that this was shot this way. It wasn't. Let's go change it. Watch this. I'll change the blur amount, which I could keyframe. So I could give a rack focus effect. Look at that. Look at that. You can change things like the aperture edges. So how many edges this is. The aperture roundness. So if we can sharpen that edge, rotate it, put a fringe on it if we want, have the lens distort, how much gain is happening, That's not an effect you're going to get with just a Gaussian blur. It looks like a real lens blur. And GPU accelerated. What? Next up. Wonder Glow. That's off. That's on. Nice, beautiful glow. We could change things like the intensity, turn it down, make it just more subtle. Uh, the size of it, so we can back that off. Make it uniform or not. Make it more wide. Change the overall angle of that. Volumetric glows too. And again, you can hit the surprise me and get a lot of different effects. There's the volumetric glow that's going on there. All right, so those are the new effects. Fantastic. Let's look at a couple of new transitions. One is a revisit of something that's been around for a while. It's a star wipe. Yeah, baby. And we get to set things like how many points this is. So if you want it to be a star or a polygon, you could change the point, roundness. So really create some interesting effects, rotate that around. All of these are key frameable too. And you can reverse the direction. You could mirror that if you wanted so that when it, it happens, it's happening from the outside and the inside, and then it meets together on the final clip. And of course, a lot of surprise me effects. You can, holy smokes, it's really crazy what you can do. The other one is a beautifully done, look at that. This is the film roll impacts. And you can see how it beautifully works on that clip. And if we look at the effects, the choices, you can ease in, ease out. You can overshoot, change the overall dissolve time, and you can see how that changes the curves, dissolve center. The direction is down, up, or left and right. So now it's gonna go that way. You can change how many rolls. You can change the tilt. So, so it's now, Woohoo! It's gonna roll over to like that. So let me play that back in real time. Look at that. Did I say that? In real time. Oh my God. Look at that. Gorgeous. Change the lighting. See the lighting showing up. The overall grunge amount, a shake amount. So this can be shaking while it's doing it. Oh, now the last thing I wanna show you is visually the most exciting part and that's the new panel. So 
Once you install Film Impact in the extensions, there's a Film Impact dashboard, and you can see it loads. It loads with all the effects, all the transitions, and now you get a preview and you get to see what things look like before you apply them. And because this is a panel, we could dock this to our interface and have it sitting over here and we could easily apply this. So I'm gonna get rid of uh, this, select both of these, and now I can apply this. So now I've got this stretch effect happening on here. So whether you wanna use the panel or use the effects controls where you can go into the film impact choices in here. You can create presets, of course, if you want, which, uh, if you want spins, page peels, um, focus blurs, just amazing. Gorgeous quality, all showing up in real time. The bottom line is, Almost any default setting, you just drop it on, it's gonna make your stuff look gorgeous. It's gonna give it that sophistication that, that a high-end video needs. Nothing cheesy here at all, um, and it looks great out of the box, but if you want, you can tweak a few things. I'm gonna link in the description to my other Film Impact tutorials because it's been a, and I hate this term, game changer. It has been for me. My stuff looks so much better with very little effort. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You wanna support us and more, you can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. Donate once or monthly any amount, thanks to all of our wonderful donors. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to keep my fingers uh, out there and, and see what's happening out there in the editing world and show you some of the cool updates from great companies like Film Impact.